Okay, everybody, this is Mrs. Jost coming at you from the kitchen table once again. All right, so we are going to continue this week with our poetry unit. And this week we are going to be working in couplets um, for the first poem we're going to do is called a Clarihue poem. Um, I know I've spoken about couplets in class a few times through the course of the year. And the way I remember a couplet is it is a couple of lines that rhyme at the end. So the word couple is in the word couplet. So it's just two lines that rhyme at the end that come right after each other in a poem. Okay, so clarity poems are four lines and they are about a person and they are made up of two couplets. So you're actually going to have two different rhyme sounds. Cat, hat, um, thick, brick. All right, so let's just take a look at what a couplet is made up of and you're gonna get a document that has this all laid out for you and you're gonna have to read the whole darn thing. Yes, I know it's a pain in the neck, but you gotta do it anyway. All right, so if it's four lines, you have line one, which is going to be the name of your person. So as soon as you pick a person to write about, um, you have your line one done. Line two needs to say something about line one, the person, but it has to rhyme at the end. And that's gonna be rhyme A, okay? That's your first couplet. Line three says something more about the person, and line four says something even further about the person, but the trick is it has to rhyme with the end of line three to create your second couplet, which I'm gonna call rhyme B. So you have a total of four lines, and you're gonna have rhyme pattern A, A, and then rhyme pattern B, B, okay? So one couplet is gonna have one sound and the other couplet's gonna have another sound, but it's gonna say something about the person. Okay, so before I show you a couple of clarius, let me just go over the steps, okay? So again, it's made up of four lines, two couplets, and I have them color coded, and I know the colors aren't that great to see between, but you've got red and pink. So line one, you're gonna pick a person. Line two, you're gonna say something about them using rhyme at the end. That's your first couplet, rhyme A. Line three, you say something more about the person. Line four, say something even further about the person. That's gonna be rhyming with line three, and that's rhyme scheme B. Okay, so the idea is you can poke fun at people, but it has to be gentle fun. You cannot be mean. You cannot be writing mean poems about people. These are kind of fun to write. And over the years, um, I've had kids write them about me and your other teachers. So that's fair game. I think that's okay to do. Um, let's just take this one first. So pick a person. Mrs. Jost, your first line is done. Woohoo! you fourth of the way there. Mrs. Jost, she is the host. When she teaches, she sometimes preaches. So if you look, line one ends in Jost, line two ends in host, that's rhyme A, that's your first couplet. If you look again, line three ends in teaches, line four ends in preaches, that's rhyme B, that's your second couplet, okay? So ho Jost, host, teaches, preaches, different rhyme sounds, different sounds to the words. All right, this one, here's a literary character. And let me hold it up here a little bit. This is about Harry Potter. So if you pick a literary character, your first line's done. Harry Potter was a magical plotter. At Hogwarts, he became master after many a goof and disaster. So your couplets end with Potter plotter. There's rhyme A. Second couplet, master disaster. There's rhyme B, poking a little fun, okay? So um, just remember, it has to be two different rhyme sounds, okay? So notice in this one, it doesn't say potter, plotter, hotter. I don't know what else would rhyme with that, but it has to be two different sounds. Like this, the first one can't be Joe's toast, most toast, right? It's got two different ending sounds. So, let's see. You will be getting a document attached to the assignment that's rather lengthy, but I tried to, you know, give you as much information as I can. And all you need to do is go through this information. It's kind of what I just talked about. There's another poem example in here, okay? 
Your job is going to be to write two different couplets about two different people poking gentle fun. When you do these, go to the end of the document, just hit the cursor, and then start typing your poems. Ideas for these poems, okay? You can write them about movie or TV stars, musicians, YouTubers. Of course, I won't recognize any of those people. Politicians, athletes, literary characters, scientists, historical figures, artists, authors, composers, cartoon characters. Yes, you can write about SpongeBob SquarePants. And also you can poke gentle fun at your teachers. So these can be fun. Remember to write in couplets, get those rhyme schemes going, and have fun with it.